Hi, my name is Sue. I will be doing short FAQ frequently asked questions videos about Dutch census videos and his live stream um, and his work. And this video is about um, what's on his live stream, um, which is the globe and what the symbols mean on it. So if we just flick over to um, EQ3D, which is a, the software that he uses, um, and if you see on the left there's a box with all this information which you occasionally see in his videos, but just ignore it for now. Um, so it, it, his globe looks something like this where it shows the last 48 hours of earthquakes live and, um, and these rings are where they are. Now this is actually information coming from uh, the feeds USGS and EMSC that's the American and European seismic agencies. Um, I think they're the two largest agencies that report globally. Um, and so this gives you a general idea of what's going on in the planet. Um, you might hear some dings and bongs, which is an indication that one's just happened. And the number of bongs are the, the count and magnitude, so there's just one there. Um, the rings, darker the red is the older ones um, within the 48 hour period and then the whiter they become, the brighter they can become are the latest ones. Now the really, the really latest one is this number here that's highlighted in green, that's actually the one that's just happened um, and the turquoise ones are the ones that Dutch might be clicking on so it's the user um, highlighting them for more information. So the turquoise is not that important, it's the green that's important for the latest one. Now you get rings that are high off the globe. So example, this one is very far off the globe and the, the, deep, the further they are, the deeper they are within the crust. And um, I'm just waiting for the information to load on this one. It's not really giving it to me, but for example, um, okay, so it keeps disappearing. 404 kilometers deep, that one was. Um, and uh, it shows up on the left <laughs> when I click on it. Um, but it's just refreshing at the moment. There we go. So, oh, anyway. Uh, so there we go. And now I'm going to take off all the magnitude numbers and rings so that you can see just the map itself. Now this is, um, the, the arrows is, well I'm Sue, I'm the person who did the graphics um, after memorizing Dutch's teaching of, uh, and, and the direction the, um, the earthquakes go. So this is actually a newer map, so it's not published yet. I'm just waiting for Dutch to release it. Um, there's some new symbols on here, but, um, so beside that, so um, basically the D indicates where the deep earthquakes are, which we've seen, there's one there, um, and um, so D is where they frequently tend to happen on the globe, um, and this is just by monitoring it, you know, these patterns over the years that he has done. And, uh, and I'm sure many others have done the same as well. Um, and then you've got, if you zoom in on, when he does zoom in on this globe, you've got little Vs, and that's volcanoes. Um, of course, there are many more volcanoes everywhere, but these are the ones that are the key points of ones that are erupting at the moment. There are some more that are going off, um, but it's just the planet's always changing all the time. So these are the ones that go off quite frequently um, and that does affect forecasting um, because it, it it's part of the movement that we're trying to find, that we're looking for sort of thing. Um, the yellow arrow means a ping pong effect. So when there's a large earthquake in Japan, it tends to reflect that, uh, to the West Coast US and then come back um, and I think it's similar to S Japan and South America. There's a, it goes that direction as well. I don't know if it does ping pong, but again, it's like ongoing research and and um, 
you know, um, I'm, I'm just waiting to put these new arrows on if I ever catch Dutch say anything. Um, okay, so, uh, oh yeah, X points. So if you notice that these, they're kind of like the start points and then you follow these arrows and, and they often end up at these X points um, and very oddly they tend to meet at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So um, I'll explain that in a minute. So that, that's the tournament, termination points there. So a lot of the Ds are here and if you follow them, so say we go around the Ring of Fire down the west coast of the US and carry on down to South America and there's a few X's there but they also go through Central America and there's X's there go back to our D points now Fiji's one that tends to happen quite often there's deep earthquakes there um, and, and they, they also go under sort of through another kind of ring of fire I suppose um, up through China and Iran and then through Europe and then ending at the Azores um, to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge again, also going down to Africa. Um, so that's what Dutch has noticed over the years uh, in his nearly eight years of studying. Um, yeah, so th that's um, how this map came about. Well, actually, how the map came about was um, uh, I was originally a skeptic of Dutch sense. And I, uh, I, I could, I was, I saw his post, and I didn't quite believe that earthquakes would be forecasted. Um, but then I just kept them in the back of my mind. And then one day on news, a really bad earthquake happened that killed a lot of people. And I thought, right, okay, I'll look at these videos and see if he did anything. And he certainly did. And I thought, oh, okay, he might be onto something. So. Um, I just took note of what he was talking about and what his forecast, uh, where his forecasts were, and I just found myself ticking these locations off um, over two weeks every day of work, seeing his work. And uh, eventually, the next thing I did was memorize where he was uh, describing the direction, and I memorized the whole globe of the stop, the the, the, the directions they progress and I thought right I think to make it easier for him to teach and also for my mind and maybe for everyone else trying to memorize it I bung some arrows on <laughs> um, and this seems to help sort of sink sink in a lot better um, and then volcanoes are really really hard work to remember so I've put some of those in um, so hopefully this will be a really useful tool well, it is already proving useful, um, and it's just a case of using it and then and then trying it yourself, really. Um, okay, I think that's it for now. Um, I shall do some more soon. Thank you for watching.